Are you looking for the best cheap gaming PC? In this video we will look at some of the best cheap gaming PC on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Acer Predator Orion 3000. The Acer Predator Orion 3000 is available in a broad variety of different configurations, the most powerful of which will be priced out of reach for the majority of gamers on a budget. However, if you want something more basic, you can get it for less than $1,000 and get a GTX 1660 graphics card, an Intel Core i5 processor, and 16GB of RAM. The standard configuration comes with all of these components. This model is no longer available directly from Acer but can still be purchased via retailers. It should offer more than enough graphics zone for gaming at 1080p, even in a world where RTX 3000 has been released, without the need to compromise too much in the graphical options menu. Acer has discontinued this model. At Number 2. HP Victus 15L. The cheapest version of the Victus by HP 15L has a starting price that is somewhere in the neighborhood of $699.99. This configuration is available in two colors, silver and white. You will receive an 8-core AMD Ryzen 5 5600G processor, an AMD RX 6400 graphics card, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, and 256GB of SSD storage with this setup. This is sufficient to allow popular esports games such as Warzone and Rocket League to be played at playable frame rates. There are additional options available to boost the specifications even further, such as an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super and 16GB RAM at a price of approximately $909.99. Additionally, there is sufficient space within the case to allow for future upgrades. At Number 3. Intel Nuke 9 Extreme Kit. A mobile processor is utilized within the Intel Nuke 9 Extreme Kit, Ghost Canyon. A Intel Core i9-9980HK Coffee Lake processor was pre-installed in our compute element when we purchased it. Our test equipment came equipped with 1TB of Kingston KC2000 PCIe NVMe SSD, 380GB GB, of Intel Optane PCIe NVMe SSD, and 16GB GB, of HyperX Impact RAM. Due to the fact that this is a bare-bones kit, the performance will differ depending on the parts that are utilized. But the thing we're comparing it to is a desktop computer, so keep that in mind. Other kinds of mini-computers make advantage of desktop central processing units, such as the Zotac Mech Mini with its Intel Core i7-9700. A desktop i9 from one of our favorite pre-builds, the HP Omen Obelisk, Intel Core i9-9900K, serves as a point of comparison for us as well. At Number 4. Dell XPS 8960. The Dell XPS 8960 demonstrates that a gaming personal computer does not need to have an opulent style in order to be worthwhile to purchase. This desktop, like its two models that came before it, the Dell XPS 8950 and the Dell XPS 8940, appears to be better suited to an office environment than a person's own gaming room. However, in spite of its dull appearance, the XPS 8960 has more than enough power to run even the most demanding PC games, provided that the appropriate components are purchased. As is their custom, Dell provides a plethora of configuration options for this desktop computer. These options let you to equip it with the most cutting-edge and advanced personal computer components available, such as the most recent Intel Raptor Lake 13th Gen CPUs and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4000 series GPUs. Although the price of the 8960 was significantly higher when it first went on sale compared to that of its predecessors, this was likely because Dell offered the higher-end configurations first. At Number 5. Asus ROG Strix GL10. Simple Personal Computers ROG Strix GL10 is an option worth considering for gamers that require a large increase in storage space for games or the creation of content. The performance parameters are broken up between an aged 6-core AMD Ryzen 5 3600X, 32GB of DDR4 RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660T, all of which should give respectable performance at 1080p resolution. The inclusion of a 1TB solid-state drive in addition to a 2TB hard disk drive makes the additional cost of $999 absolutely justified.